everyone and welcome back to today's video today we are checking out a resource which adds chat gpt as a assistant into your 5m server using an api key from OpenAI. um this is a really cool resource and i cannot wait to show you how you do it obviously if you don't have an open ai um api key you're gonna have to make one it is not free i think they give i think 15 dollars of credit when you make an account with them for the first time or something i don't know if they do that anymore given the popularity um, but this is not free, but it is something that you can kind of mess around with. And since this is all on GitHub and everything, if you're interested in using this idea and like adding stuff to your uh, 5M server, if you're a developer that may have actual AI implications, maybe you can do that. It's a pretty cool idea. Um, I do want to apologize for being a little inactive. Thank you to our guest host last week for doing a video. I've been dealing with seven different classes starting. I've been doing a minor in reporting in journalism this summer. It has been very busy, but I am finally kind of reaching the middle point of the summer. I'm really starting to try to get back into YouTube and uh, development type stuff. So more soon as well, but we're going to get straight into this one. It's going to be pretty simple to do. There's two things you're going to need. You're going to need to download this release page. Both are down in the description. Just going to download this. It's just like any other resource install that you've seen. And you need to get your API key from platform.openai.com slash account slash API keys. Um, it will let you create one of these, I think, before you even add a credit card. I don't know if that's the case anymore. I have an old one, but I'm going to create a new one and we're going to go through how to set this up. Um, but first, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into wherever my 5M server is stored. For me, it's my server data resources folder. For you, if you've installed it with TX admin or anything, it would be in your TX data folder. Or if you're on Zap hosting, you'll download through your FTP file access. And we're just going to open up this file we downloaded from GitHub. And you can see in here, there's a second folder. Don't drag this first folder in there. You're going to want the second folder. That's literally underscore open AI. And then we're just going to go ahead and drag this into the resources folder. And it's not just a drag and drop. We actually have to configure it. So you can see in the server, there's a the server.lula. In the client, there's the client.lula. So if we go into the server.lula and we edit this with notepad or notepad plus plus, you can see you have your endpoint here and your API key here. You can also select what model you're using. I highly recommend you keep it at 3.5 turbo for the cheapest and everything. Um, you can obviously change this if you know what you're doing and you're willing to pay extra for like the 4.0 or whatever on OpenAI. It is perfectly up to you depending on what you want to do. But for the case of this video, we're just going to leave it at that. And now we're going to go ahead and grab our API key. This API key will be deleted by the time this video goes live, so don't even try to use it. So we're going to create a new secret key. We're just going to call it 5M test. Just very easy. We're going to create our secret key, and we're going to go ahead and copy this key, and we're just going to paste it directly in to our config file here and go ahead and save that. And you can see now it is here, and it will say it's last used whenever. So once we go ahead and do that, we can close out of this file. We are good. The resource contains a default command inside of the game called slash chat GPT, and then whatever your um, arguments are. Um, so it just responds to you. But obviously, if you're a developer, you're going to want to take advantage of this however you can. So you're just going to name the folder open underscore AI. Just keep the name the same. And you're going to go to your server.cfg file. And then you're just going to add insure the name of the resource in here, which is open underscore AI and save. Now, when we start up our server, what we're going to do is we're just going to take a look at console here and make sure it says started resource open underscore AI. And we're just going to do this see there so it says could not find uh dependency as ex extended for this so in order to just remove that esx extended uh dependency what i'm going to do is i'm going to go in your client folder here and i'm just going to go ahead and get rid of all of that which just kind of exported stuff from esx and then in our server.lula file as well we're just going to check in here we're going to remove that esx um extended thing there just make sure that's gone we're going to look for any other of the esx um requests and i don't see any other esx things in here and then we're going to go to our server.fxmanifest.lula file. Make sure there's nothing in here that requires ES extended. Just go ahead and delete that like that. Um, and I'm going to get rid of the shared scripts as well. And we don't need, I don't think we need MySQL async either. So I'm going to just, I'll keep that one there. Um, I don't, no, actually we don't need it. So we're just going to delete that as well. So you can see we kind of just modify the files a little bit. So we remove anything we don't need. The default aspect is still going to be there. It's still going to connect. It's still going to return everything. This time, we're just going to start our server and make sure we see started resource open AI. Very easy. Very cool. All right. So we are in game here. And now if I use Slack chat GPT and ask it a question, uh, I don't know. Is BGHD development a YouTube channel? It probably doesn't know this. And I ask it, um, give it a second because it does take a second. Yes, I'm a personal assistant for 5M server calls you solve. How can I assist you today? Um, obviously, it doesn't really know everything. Um, GPT, let's see. 
can I have food? Question mark. I don't know. Just keep asking at random stuff. Um, so it doesn't seem to be returning correctly. There may be an error or something. Um, so this is something that you're just going to probably have to take a look at. Um, so it seems to be responding with the same completion. I don't know. Maybe we have to teach it something. Um, let's see here. Let's go back into our server.lula. I think that ESX endpoint was probably going to return um, types of information. So you can see it's we're giving its content as you're a personal assistant. Um, so I don't know if we have to say, how do I get a car? Is it, I don't know if it's kind of how this is supposed to work. Let's see. It hasn't responded to that one yet. It, it doesn't know what to say to that one yet, apparently. Oh, there we go. Okay, so now it is. So it seems to be taking the information um, directly from like their website or however they have set this up where it's searching the internet for like Evolve. Um, go back into our OpenAI dashboard here. You can see that um, it hasn't processed any of the usage yet, but it's probably gonna be a couple cents Normally, that's what it normally is for these types of just little basic um, information releases. So I do recommend reading over um, their documentation and their stuff so it can tell you kind of just how it works, what you need to do, how to use it. So they have like a how to use section. I guess that's down here. Um, so you change the model, change the open AI key. Um, get a text response, etc. Um, so however you want to, however you want to do that, you can figure it out. So the cool resource probably going to be more uh, developer related than something you can just mess on your server, but hopefully you did enjoy and I'll be back in the next couple of videos. See you later, everybody.